We're saying bye to Kayla. Yeah. Last oh. day rides making me go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Saying bye to Kayla. Bye. bye. I have a craving for McDonald's. McDonald's. I want it right now. <laughs> yes, I got it. Okay, here it is. Oz the Great and Powerful. Mmm, bacon burger. I thought I would do a quick review on the movie they just saw, Oz the Great and Powerful. Unfortunately, though, I did not like it. I thought that the movie was not very well cast. The only two people that I actually liked in the movie were Michelle Williams, who plays Glenda the Good Witch, and Zach Braff, who plays the monkey. Other than that, I felt like everybody else was kind of just very, really miscast. I thought the dialogue was terrible, absolutely the worst. It was just very painful to watch. But I did think that the story did have promise in it. What happened during the plot was kind of interesting, but just the way that it was executed by Sam Raimi, who I actually do like. I love Spider-Man 2, one of my favorite movies of all time. But this one, the visuals, he did fill every single frame with very beautiful visuals. It was very much a spectacle movie, but other than that, to have to listen to anything that they were talking about, I was like, oh my gosh. It was definitely a disgrace to the original. So my final review out of four stars is one and a half. Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna make a quinoa salad for dinner today to be healthy. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, but of course I don't have any of the ingredients. I found this recipe online. Shopping at Safeway, yeah. Okay, so I have my list here for my quinoa salad. Gotta get all the ingredients now. What do I need? Oh look, they have wheatgrass. I wonder what the difference between f the taste for f Italian flat onions and regular red onions. You guys, let me know in the comments. This looks so purple. This is like a lot of stuff just for this one quinoa mix. <laughs> it's crazy. I walk around and people's eyes directly go to my shoes. I've never cooked with one of these chicken bouillon things. I was like, what is that? Kalamata olives here. And the main ingredients, quinoa, where is that? Ah, here it is. I feel like buying a lot of junk food right now. <laughs> I'm hungry. My mouth is watering so bad. All butter pound cake, muffins, Dutch apple pie. I always take the longest time choosing the ice cream. I always end up getting the same thing. <laughs> Guess I'm getting cookies and cream. Changed my mind. I'm gonna get a giant Haagen Dazs vanilla and buy Oreos. Okay, I think I got enough food here. <laughs> hey, I've been losing weight. I just weighed myself. I'm 155 pounds again. Yeah! <laughs> Goose me hater, I get that loosely. Paper than being next, be stunted out, T-Rex, be gutted out. Tell them Mickey be chillin', I'ma keep hurtin' the feelings because you'll never be Jordan. You couldn't even be Pippin', you couldn't even be trippin', you can't afford a vacation. I'm out in Haiti with Asians, I go to Asia with Asians. You mad dusty, you a little dusty possum. I just come through with the six like my name was Blossom. Look at that car there. What? I'm gonna make the quinoa salad right now. I'll put a link in the description below with the full recipe if you want to make it yourself. So I'm gonna make twice as much as it says to make because I eat a lot. So here's my quinoa. Two cups of quinoa that I need to wash. I have a feeling this is gonna make a lot of quinoa. <laughs> I don't have a colander, so I'm just gonna wash it and try to drain it as well as I can. <laughs> so if you're wondering, quinoa is incredibly good for you. It gives you tons of energy and super, super high in protein. A lot better, a lot of bodybuilders like to use it as an alternative to like rice, even though it's a seed. Okay, then I just peel and smash two pieces of garlic here. Smash. Okay, so I added it to the pot with four cups of water, four cubes of this chicken bouillon here. There we go, it looks kind of like dog food, huh? <laughs> now bring this to a boil. And now that's boiling, I'm gonna add the quinoa here. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna dice two bell peppers and two red onions. Look at all these green bell peppers. Check it out. The quinoa's done. It's absorbed all of 
the juices that I have. And there we go, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator now. Next, the onions. Oh gosh, my eyes, I only cut this much and it's already like causing, it's gonna like, seriously. So we learned about this in culinary, what causes it, and I don't remember. It has something to do with some kind of oils that um, the onions release. Ow, oh, it hurts so bad. Remember, onions, peeling the onions, it's like in Shrek. Ogres are like onions, they are many layers. And then Donkey's like, what about a cake? Cakes are many layers too. And he's like, no, they're not like, ogres are not like cakes, we're like onions. Ah, I don't even care anymore, just chop these faster. Did you know that onions and apples have the same flavor? They just smell differently. So that's what causes you to think that they taste different. Because if you plug your nose and eat an apple and plug your nose and eat an, an onion, they will taste exactly the same. So it's really just the smell that's causing it to change. Okay, my nose is like running from all this. Ah! Okay, next. Gotta chop half a cup of fresh parsley. Mmm. Next, the chives. And one cup of pitted Kalamata olives. Check it out. Bam! That took a really, really, really long time. And you know the good thing is, I actually just bought the chicken to add to it instead of cooking chicken because that would have added more time. Hey, I just boned a full chicken. Now I'm gonna chop it up. Cutting up the chicken, I feel like someone at Chipotle. <laughs> Look at all that chicken. Got a teaspoon of salt and one cup of feta cheese. Okay, let's add all the ingredients together. That's a lot of chicken. Double chicken. I don't have a bigger bowl and it doesn't seem like this is gonna be able to mix very well. <laughs> this is like such a large serving. Look, I, it wouldn't even fit in that bowl so I had to stick it in the back into the pot. Good thing it cooled down. And add the feta cheese. Now just mix it up. Mix. Mix. Beautiful, and we're not even done yet. Gotta make the sauce for it, the dressing. Okay, I'm gonna have to juice one and a half cups of lemon juice, which means, and I don't even have a juicer, so I'm just gonna have to use my muscle. Okay, I ran out of lemons before I could get one and a half cups. It's close enough. I guess if I actually used the juicer, I'd be there. Also, I dropped a lemon inside and all the lemon juice splashed out here, so I would have been at one and a half cups. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I actually just opened this for the first time. I've had this since I graduated. I never opened it, kind of sad. And half a cup of olive oil here. I'm making a mess in the kitchen. I'm not doing clean as you go, as you can see, K-Go. That's what they call it in culinary school. Okay, now we just whisk it and drizzle it over the salad. And since we don't have a whisk, I guess I'm just gonna mix it. Ah. Okay, this is hard to do with one hand. There, like that. This is taking so long, it's already taking two hours. And mix, mix, mix. This is like enough quinoa salad for an army. I hope like it lasts me a long time because it took me so long to make two hours, over two hours. <sighs> Let's try it. Where's the chicken? It has to cool off more. good. <laughs> Ta-da! The kitchen's all clean. Finally time to eat dinner. It's like so late at night. Dinner time! Yeah! Okay, here's my splurge. Half a gallon of haagen ice cream and Oreos. Mmm. Look at that. Are these like the dark chocolate chips? Red chocolate. Oh, the dark chocolate, a little bit. We also have dark chocolate crisps over there. Getting the watermelon. Watermelon. Check it out. Look at Kayla's chocolate with berries and stuff. Look at mine. We're still eating it and discussing the movie. 